the producers of Candyman were concerned about potential racism accusations due to its portrayal of a black villain and setting in an urban housing project. To address this, director Bernard Rose met with the NAACP at the producer's request. Surprisingly, after reading the script, they questioned the necessity of such discussions. The NAACP representatives found the film to be harmless fun, challenging the idea that a black actor couldn't play a ghost or iconic roles like Freddy Krueger or Hannibal Lecter, seeing it as a horror movie and not limited by race. One of the most captivating and eerie aspects of the film is the exceptional score by Philip Glass, which left Glass somewhat disappointed and manipulated by the film. He had envisioned a more faithful adaptation of Clive Barker's short story The Forbidden, but felt it became a low-budget slasher. However, Glass has come to see it as a cult classic within the horror community, and the fact that he still receives his royalty checks for his work makes him feel like it wasn't too bad of a film.